In this video, we're gonna go through the difference between an 8-bit and a 10-bit recording because it's really important to know the difference. So when you're filming something, first the photons and the image goes into the lens and then to the sensor, and then the image is divided up into R, G, B, red, green, and blue. And those three colors can have different shades. And when you combine all these different shades of these three colors, you're gonna get all the colors that we're used to see in a picture. When we have an 8-bit recording, the R, G, B, the red, green, and blue, all of those three colors can have 256 different shades of each color. So when you take 256 different shades of red, 256 different shades of green, 256 different shades of blue, you get a total of 16.7 million different colors. And that can sound a lot, because if you, for example, you're just gonna film a piece of white paper, it's not so many colors, so the 8-bit will not have a problem to record that. But if you're outside instead, and you're gonna film a landscape or something, and you have all these different colors and shades, and you even have have the sky with all those different shades of blue that works pretty well all until you go into your editing and then you try to push around those colors and the exposures or you maybe would like to have it more like golden hour or more blue or something like that and suddenly when you do that you're going to see something that is called banding that is when you see these sharp lines specifically in the sky and those are caused just because you don't have enough image data so you can recreate new shades and that is what's happening when you are filming in 8-bit. If you do a 10-bit recording instead, instead of 256 shades of each red, green, and blue, you suddenly get four times that amount. You get 1,024 shades of red, 1,024 shades of green, 1,024 shades of blue. And if you multiply these together, you're gonna get over one billion different colors. So when you, with all these color data, is trying to push around those colors of the sky and such, you will not have those issues that you have with an 8-bit recording because you have enough data to generate even these new shades of the sky, for example. So that is why it's so important to use 10-bit recording if you intend to do any kind of post-processing of these images or videos that you are recording. If you just intend to download it from the camera and then don't do anything more with it, well, then you will probably be fine with an 8-bit recording, but as soon as you're gonna do any kind of color correction or color tweaking, well, then you will for sure run into these issues, these banding issues, if you are doing that with an 8-bit recording. So this is the same reason why I don't recommend you to use a log profile if you are filming in 8-bit. Because when you use a log profile, that's when you get these washed out image that you then need to stretch out to get the exposure and the saturation back into the image. And when you do that and you only have 8-bit in that recording, you can run into these issues that you don't have color and image data enough to generate good images after you have applied those LUTs to get all these colors and saturation back into the image. So if you're gonna use a log profile, then we need or should use a 10-bit recording. I really appreciate if you would like to sponsor me with a cup of coffee, because that makes an enormous difference in the possibility for me to make more videos. So I hope this video gave you a pretty clear picture of the basics of eight versus 10-bit recording. The next thing we can do that is to see each other in one of those two videos, the top one, that is the latest uploaded video I have, and the bottom one, that is the video YouTube recommended to watch next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.